Hello everybody, Ben the Pat Tester here. We've had a, another question come through about Pat Testing fans, about when a fan appears to be a class one appliance but then you can't get an earth reading off of it and what to do. So here we have an upright fan, quite common uh, in offices and all sorts of places. So first you would do your visual inspection. Um, this one's not looking too clever on the feet here but you can straighten them out but um, just ignore that for the moment because I'm just going to use this fan for demonstration purposes even though the, the feet is making it a bit wobbly but this particular fan is class one and we know it's class one because uh, there's no class two markings on it for starters so we have to uh, treat it as a class one appliance and in the plug there is line neutral and earth so it is earthed at some point now when you go to test these now what you'll find is you'll you know there's a bit of exposed metal here um, and that's the only bit of exposed metal you can find but what you'll find is this flex will go up and it goes into an old plastic enclosure here but you've got some screws at the, at the back and then you've got an old plastic um, enclosure here as well um, some of you have probably spotted the crack in the back here so don't worry I'm not going to pass this item this is purely for demonstration purposes um, but you can see here it's all it's all plastic um, now what you sometimes get is in there you'll get a screw which is screwed straight into the motor which is inside which goes through to here now when you test some of these fans, what you'll find is sometimes, 50% of the time, you can get an earth off of that screw in there. Other times, you can't. So you might think, well, if I'm getting a failure off of that, does that mean I can't pass it because I should be getting an earth off of that because it's exposed metal? Well, what I find with a lot of these fans is that screw in there might be screwed into a piece of plastic housing and then the plastic housing uh, is separately screwed to the motor inside. Um, you might be able to get an earth off of the, see the metal rotator inside there, but then you could say, well, this has got a, a metal casing over the top. Um, you know, you might try getting an earth off of this metal casing, but the majority of the time you can't get an earth because it's connected separately to the, plastic housing there so you would say you would think that there's no chance of that becoming live if there was a fault inside it's a real tricky one um so what i would say is 50 percent of the time um you can't get an earth off of them if you can then great um but it all depends how they're constructed inside so i'll be interested to know your thoughts on it um because um most of the time i would use common sense and say right okay it's been designed with an earth. The earth may be just a functional earth for the motor inside. It may not have anything to do with the electrical safety of the appliance, but you don't know. But if you can't get an earth, in my opinion, it's not grounds to, to fail the item because from experience, this is a very common occurrence with fans and they can't all be failed. They can't all be faulty and unsafe, but I'll just mark it on your paperwork. Just mark it on your paperwork that you're unable to get an earth. There's only a limited uh, screw there. Um, you wouldn't be able to get an earth off of that anyway because the metal stem is completely separate to this switch. That's my opinion anyway. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, be interested to know your thoughts as always. As, um, please don't forget to like and subscribe as well. It's great to hear from you all. Uh, see you next time.